Hi everybody, I'm Joe Calderon and this is another edition of Coach's Corner right here on UAlbanySports.com. Joining us now, he's in the hot seat. He's the head coach of the UAlbany baseball team, John Bam Bam Mueller. Johnny, what's going on? Good to see you, Joe. It's been, it's been a while. You guys have been all over the place. I feel like between games that you played, postponements, cancellations, we're all, we're all over the place. But we, we actually have some baseball to talk about here. Stony Brook. Stony Brook. Uh, difficult place to play. I, I try to compare it to uh, men's basketball going up to Vermont and playing in the barn. Uh, you know, very well coached team, veteran guy. Uh, he has over 750 wins. Uh, both weekends so far in the America East, we've come down to that Sunday game and we haven't been able to finish it off. Uh, we did a great job game one. Uh, great, great pitching performance from McClure and Hunter Torres. Game two, we got a nice start from a freshman, David Hutchison. Lost control in the fifth inning. It's kind of little things. You know, we misplayed a ball in center, we misplayed a ball in right, um, and good teams take advantage of that. You know, they're, they're a very well coached team. Um, they've made one error all weekend. I think we made three. Uh, but they were ready to go. They, they, they jump on mistakes and then they take full advantage of it. That happened in this first game on Sunday. And then the momentum, you know, like we talked about with that momentum in baseball, the momentum switches, it's tough to stop that water from flowing. Yeah, and after, I, one of the things that I wanted to talk about, you know, <clears throat> every once in a while on the show, I try to pick out one guy that I've been impressed with, and Jack McClure. You know, I know the season, it's early, but he's pitching about as well as you can at this point. He's 3-0, you know, 13 strikeouts in 22 innings. He's got an ERA just north of two. How impressed have you been with, with Jack? So. Well, Jack's been a real nice surprise. You know, we, we thought that uh, Coach Kyer found him uh, about a year ago and followed his progress. And, uh, you know, we didn't know what we were going to get out of him. We didn't know if he was going to be a Wednesday guy, a bullpen guy, you know. But I don't think that we anticipated this much success from him this early. We replaced all three starters from last year, um, and he's really done a nice job. He actually should probably be 4-0. Uh, the, the bullpen surrendered that lead in the first UMBC game. 5-1 uh, lead. He left after five with no... No damage on the, on the, on the bases, and, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we weren't able to close that one out for him, but he really stepped up against Stony Brook. Six solid innings. Um, he's gone no less than five his last three times out. It's, you know, pitchers are a lot like horses. They go five furlongs, then they stretch out to six, and you know, he's, he's at six right now, and uh, he's been over 100 pitches, and he's responded well health-wise, which has been the most important thing. Yeah, now, you were supposed to, that the, the taping of this show, this edition of Coach's Corner, you are supposed to be hosting Marist, Correct. Home opener. Yep. It's the home opener. We're fired up, and Mother Nature, like she has throughout the last month or so, not cooperating. No home opener today. And you were just telling us before the show. Long shot for tomorrow, probably. Long shot for tomorrow. Yep. Well, I, you know, we talk about it all the time. It's coach talk. We we have to control. We can control. Don't worry about the weather, the umpires, and you know, sometimes as head coaches, you you have to keep the spirits up. You know, we're back in the gym today. We're gonna hit some fly balls outside. Um, we're going to have to get ready for a very good UMass Lowell team who's going to come in here with a lot of energy. They won two out of three last weekend. They've had some big wins early in the year. Um, but they're, like I say, they're, they're a different kind of poisonous snake. You know, they, they're going to bring a little different venom than Stony Brook will bring. And, um, you know, very good offense. They've pitched the ball very, very well. A uh, veteran coach does a great job. He brings a lot of energy and he's it's a tough guy. So, you know, we got our work cut out for us. We just talked with the team and said, you know, we need to pick it up in all different aspects. And there's no easy games in the American East in baseball. Nobody's bad. Yeah, I know you've been through this many times. You've been here for a while. You, you're in the Northeast, so weather's going to be a problem. But even though you've been through this, how frustrating is it? You know, your guys get amped up. It's like, yeah, home opener. And now we got to wait another day or two. Well, I was, when I walked down to the field this morning, I was really excited to see the team again. We had yesterday off. I was able to watch some of the Red Sox game, which was a nice break. I think I needed a break. Um, but you walk down there and you see the fields a little bit behind where you thought it would be. And, um, you know, it took a second cup of coffee, I think, today to, to kind of keep the smile on. But feeling better now. You know, I can't, we can't worry about that. We have a great group, great group of guys ready to practice today. Um, well, tomorrow's a long shot, but we'll be able to get outside, hopefully, get some guys some live innings on the mound, get some of those guys that haven't had a lot of at-bats to see some live pitching. Um, and work on some things we need to continue to work on. You know, it's, it's, it's still in the early stages. Uh, we have 12 conference home games coming up in a row, and that's going to determine where we sit towards the end of the year, whether we're a top two, two seed or whether we're going to get a home game in the playoffs or whether we're going to have to play that extra game. So, um, you know, we'll keep grinding. I know there's nothing better, and I can't wait for it to get there, but watching a game at Varsity Field when the sun's shining, temps in the 70s, oh, it's nice. you know, late, late April. Looking forward to that. Eventually we're going to get there. He's the head coach of the baseball team at UAlbany, John Mueller.
brother. Thanks a lot. Always good to see you. And Appreciate of course, it. like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. I'm Joe Calderon. This was another edition of Coach's Corner on ULMesports.com. We'll see you next time.